Hello there, this is Name. Welcome to the first video in the series Explained in Minecraft. Um, hopefully I am able to produce more episodes of this. So today we are looking at the four-stroke engine or in German Viertakt motor. Um, so here is one part of the engine. Um, it's one cylinder and usually most of the time you have more than one and of course there are other parts surrounding the cylinder and so on and I only um, build the most important parts. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at it. Down here we have some oil. Um, it is collected down here and then with some more complicated mechanism it is... Um, yeah, how do you say that? Um, it is sprayed around here. Maybe that's not a correct word, but um, of course you need oil all over the place um, so you don't get so the uh, metal here that is right next to the other metal so it doesn't get hot and doesn't get stuck and so on. And here we have a crankshaft, in Deutsch it's a Kurbelwelle and oil is Öl. And <coughs> yeah, attached to the crankshaft we have a piston or Kolben um, and it's connected with a conrod or ploil. And um, so the crankshaft is rotating and so it uh, rotates more smoothly we have this counterweight or Gegengewicht in German so everything runs more smoothly smooth smoothly I don't know and yeah this is the actual combustion chamber and up here we have the inlet valves Einlassventil in German and the exhaust valves uh, Auslassventile in German. In the middle we have a spark plug or glow plug depending on um, the fuel you're using. In German it's Zündkerze and Glühkerze. Back here we have some water cooling, water channels going through the engine block. Uh, yeah, water cooling is Wasserkühlung in German. And here we have two pipes going to the valves um, and here we get air and fuel which is usually uh, usually sprayed into tiny tiny uh, drops and yeah in German it's Luft for air and Kraftstoff for fuel and yeah that a few different variants, um, especially back in the day, um, the air already had the fuel in it, but um, modern engines sometimes only get the air from here and then there's um, an additional um, yeah, valve, so to say, that puts the fuel directly into the combustion chamber. Right, and the main principle is, the basic principle is that you have explosions from the fuel and air up here and the explosion pushes down the piston and that way the explosion or the chemical work is transferred into uh, mechanical work. And now we only have this up-down movement <coughs> and using the Conrod and the crankshaft, we translate it into ro rotary motion because wheels um, rotate instead of going up and down. <laughs> and yeah, in German it's Die Wucht der Explosion wird in mechanische Arbeit verwandelt. Pleuel und Kurbelwelle übersetzen die auf Abbewegung in eine Rotation. So yeah, now let's see it in action. Here it um, tells you which of uh, four um, 
for parts of a stroke, for strokes. I don't know how to say it in English. But yeah, um, the whole mechanism has four um, parts to it. So first of all, the blue thing is the fresh air with fuel. Right now, um, it is yeah, sprayed into the combustion chamber and at step, yeah, four steps, that's the correct word. At step two, right now, the piston is uh, moving up again, compressing the air fuel mixture, which is this purple thing here. And at the very top, we have a small um, spark here, at least, uh, yeah, depending on the fuel. But usually you have this a spark that then um, makes the mixture explode, which is the red thing here. And then of course it expands. Um, <clears throat> so the piston goes down because of the explosion. And after that it cools off and the exhaust valves open and the gray exhaust is let out of the engine into the exhaust pipe. And after that, uh, new fresh air and fuel is let into the combustion chamber. And that's the main principle. Um, <clears throat> yeah, as I mentioned before, there are different variants, but the overall basic principle is the same. And yeah, you can download this map, take a look at it for yourself and learn something about engines and English and German. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye.